got three different samples for the bathroom. Uh, this one, I think it's too dark. This one's too dark. But I like this one. We've painted it under here as well. Um, I don't know if you can see the colour on the camera, but... Funny enough, on the camera here, it all looks really blue. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not an accurate portrayal, but it matches the wallpaper really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, slight contrast, but that's what we wanted. But that, that um, wallpaper that you're holding up there, it looks really, really um, purple, but it's not. No. And we have shown it before. Uh, I think it's because we're right next to the window. Let me see if I can just it's get a slightly more, different angle. It's more of a Prussian blue. Yeah. But that's not bad, though. The colour really matches quite well. There's a subtle contrast, which is fine. Doesn't have to be an exact No, no, not at all. Uh, let's try and show that wallpaper again because right against the window it just looks a totally different colour. We have showed it before. That's um, that's more like the colour um, up here, mm. this bit. Um, and that colour on the wall matches that, so that's much, much better. That's a better indication of it. Otherwise, you're thinking we're going purple. Yeah. We're not. Because <laughs> uh, on the screen now, I can just see next to you, it looks really, really blue mm. uh, here. Yeah. Uh, but this is more accurate. So, yeah, so we're happy with that then. So we're, we're going... For this. Okay. Right, we're going to do our best um, to show you this, but you can see by the window there's an awful glare behind it. Um, so we'll just have to do our best to film this. But anyway, where are we going to put this paint, Susie? So it's going round the window. Yeah. The inside of the window. And it will go on some of the walls, but I've got to find out where I've put the other rolls of paper. Um, someone's getting in on the act again. As usual. Thank Max, you, Max. what are you up to? <laughs> There's no food in there. <laughs> Where the bath is going is going to be tiled because there's going to be a shower above it. So um, I've got to work out how much paper I've got to do probably the wall where the mirrors are and, and maybe a bit more. So this is um, quite a nice cupboard here, can fit quite a lot in it and I did strip the shelves off because it had PVC sticky, sticky back plastic if anyone remembers blue paint. <laughs> Max come out, come out. Um, so I'm going to paint this to match the screen in this pale blue. So it probably looks grey on camera. And then the trim I'll do in a darker blue with maybe a bit of gold as well. That's gold, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think this is going to be gold as well, this trim. Oh, okay. Oh, it'll, it'll match the mirrors, the answers. Yeah. Right, I'm just buffing up this gold wax because it looks a bit dull. See how it comes up. If it doesn't polish up, then I'll probably use some clear wax on it. better comparing it with that one. Yeah, it's hmm. Oh yeah, that's come up that on the screen, hasn't it? Yeah. Subtle but then that's that's fine. Yeah that does that and that was the dull one. Yes, they, they were slightly different. Hmm.
So that seems to have come up nice and shiny. And if you leave the wax on long enough, the gold um, gilding wax, it doesn't rub off. So it just polishes up nicely. Yeah, yeah I think they blend into each other quite well now. They, they complement each other. Yeah. Uh, the two sconces and the mirror, they, they, you'd almost think they were part of a complete set now. Yeah. So that's, that's lovely. It's just, yeah, there is a shine there. I don't know whether it will mm. come off on camera. It does look like it looking at it now through the lens, but uh, it does look as though it's slightly shinier. So. Okay, that's the first coat, looking good. I've gone into the edges. Um, I've got to paint these anyway, so I'll be more careful on this, but it, I'm fairly clean there. Um, right, painting over wallpaper. Let's deal with that. Um, we've done an awful lot of paper stripping in this place, and you go along tapping it, and you can feel the plaster's loose. And in some cases, it's only the um, wallpaper that's keeping the plaster on the wall. So you know you've got to strip it off and you know you've got to do some replastering. Um, but in this instance, because it's a small area and I've got a lot of tapping it, everything's really sound underneath and the wallpaper's okay. It bobbles up, I don't know whether you'll see it on, um, on the screen, but it does bobble up when you paint it, but then it, as it dries out, um, it's like wallpaper drying out, it will go nice and smooth again, just as it did on the bathroom. Um, so I'm not into... Um, removing paper for the sake of it especially when it's on really nice and neat on a solid wall and in this case I just thought well I don't really want to mess around and what I generally do where wallpaper meets a, a window frame like this is I tend to put a little bit of trim there anyway and then paint the trim either the, the colour of the frame or, or the wall um, and that way any movement you don't get these edges pop up as they have here so I can hide these edges, absolutely no problem at all. So where we need to, we'll remove wallpaper. Where we don't, we won't. And the bathroom ceiling here, um, I painted over it uh, because again, I went over it all, looked at it, and it was actually in good, really good condition. And it looks absolutely fine. You can't see any lumps or bumps or anything. And where it meets the wall, uh, we're putting coving there, so I don't even need to be that neat on the edges. Um, if we do strip some of this wallpaper off, and some of it, this wall in particular, where the mirrors are, we're probably going to have to strip this off because there's a lot of replastering to do where the electrics have been and everything. Um, but this wall is in very good nick, so we may actually be able to paint over that wallpaper directly over that one, uh, but have to do this one. So we'll look at each wall as an individual wall. And we'll make that decision but right now we're, what I've just done on this window alcove it didn't need the wallpaper taking off so I'm not going to waste my time taking it off and of course if you do you know you do run the risk of bringing some plaster off with you and that just creates more work so no point so that's why I'm painting over wallpaper okay that coat uh, first coat is very nearly dry it's clearly going to need a second coat it looks a little bit patchy and I can just see a little bit of the wallpaper coming through. So I'm just going to get on and put the second coat on. Well, that's had two coats. Um, that's covered it really well. I'm quite happy with that as it is. I don't think it'll need any more. So one job I'll do as we're doing this at some point is I'll get a little bit of beading in here. That'll tidy up this edge and I'll do that on all bits. Uh, here we're okay though. Um, so yeah, I think that's a lovely colour that's going to complement that wallpaper really well. So yeah, pleased with that. Right, in the meantime, do you remember the mirror we put up in our bedroom, the one we put the gold um, waxing, gilding wax on? Well, you might have thought we were finished with that. Well, actually I thought we were finished with that as well, but Susie has had different ideas. Just wanted to show you this um, tall boy that we bought over from the UK. We've got two units actually. One's a glass cupboard 
Um, and I like these black pillars on it with the brass tops I've got to clean up because they're a bit dull. But I was thinking this might look good on the mirror we put in our bedroom. Um, there's like a fluted column and then some just plain bits which don't really stand out. So I thought if we painted them black like this, it might pop more. And I thought it'd be nice to do these bits and those two top bits. Um, then it will tie in with the fireplace. So I'm just going to lightly sand this. As you can see it's drying already, it's a nice matte black. I might put some wax on it if it's a bit dull but I'm quite happy with that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it stands out more. Yeah, I think so. It, it matches those pieces downstairs. So yeah. uh, that was well worth doing. We've been sitting here for a few days looking at it ever since we put it up and we thought something missing, something not quite with it. It so, stands out enough. Yeah, the, these flutes here, they're gold. I think we'll put some more gold in there just to make them stand out more. But I was wondering whether to do black down there, but we'll... We'll think about that. Uh, I think there's a point which you've done enough, haven't you? Yeah, or not. <laughs> well, there you go. So, a bit more work in the bathroom. A little bit of unexpected work on that, but we think it's worth the effort. So, there you go. That's our midweek offering for you. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. And we shall see you... Sunday. Sunday. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Bye.